Uptative presents 5 Relationship Psychology Information to Live By. Relationships involve a variety of factors, including emotions, behaviors, attitudes, and communication patterns. Understanding these factors and how they interact can help to build stronger and healthier relationships. Part of any relationship, and learning how to manage it constructively can help to strengthen the relationship. Number 1. Love and attachment are deeply ingrained in our biology and can be traced back to our evolutionary history. Love and attachment are fundamental human experiences that are deeply rooted in our biology and evolutionary history. These emotions have played a crucial role in the survival and reproduction of our species. In fact, researchers have found evidence of love and attachment in many different animal species, suggesting that these emotions have evolutionary advantages. From an evolutionary perspective, love and attachment serve to promote bonding and social cohesion, which in turn enhance survival and reproductive success. For example, mothers who are attached to their offspring are more likely to provide them with the care and protection they need to survive and thrive. Similarly, romantic partners who are deeply in love are more likely to stay together and raise successful offspring. Number 2. The experience of falling in love triggers the release of various chemicals in the brain, including dopamine, oxytocin, and adrenaline. The experience of falling in love is not just an emotional one, but a physiological one as well. When we fall in love, the brain releases a cocktail of chemicals, including dopamine, oxytocin, and adrenaline, which can create intense feelings of pleasure, attachment, and excitement. These chemicals play a crucial role in the formation and maintenance of romantic relationships, and can lead to long-lasting bonds between partners. Number 3. The initial, honeymoon phase, of a relationship typically lasts about six months to two years, after which the brain chemistry shifts and the relationship becomes more stable. The initial, honeymoon phase, of a relationship is characterized by intense feelings of passion, excitement, and infatuation. During this time, the brain releases large amounts of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward, which can create a euphoric feeling of being in love. However, this phase usually doesn't last forever. After about six months to two years, the brain chemistry shifts, and the levels of dopamine and other chemicals associated with the early stages of love decrease. This can lead to a more stable and comfortable stage in the relationship, where partners may feel a deeper sense of connection and commitment. It's important to note that every relationship is unique, and the duration of the honeymoon phase may vary depending on factors such as the individuals involved, their personalities, and the nature of the relationship. Additionally, while the initial passion may fade over time, it's still possible to maintain a happy and fulfilling relationship with effort and communication from both partners. Number 4. Attachment styles, which are shaped by early childhood experiences, can strongly influence the way we approach relationships and form emotional bonds. Research shows that our attachment styles can strongly influence the way we approach relationships throughout our lives. For example, individuals with a secure attachment style tend to feel comfortable with emotional intimacy and are able to form healthy, lasting relationships. On the other hand, individuals with insecure attachment styles, such as anxious or avoidant attachment, may struggle with trust and have difficulty forming and maintaining close relationships. Understanding our attachment style can be helpful in identifying patterns of behavior and making positive changes in our relationships. With awareness and effort, it is possible to develop a more secure attachment style and improve our ability to form healthy emotional bonds with others. Number 5. Relationships that are based on mutual respect, trust, and communication tend to be more satisfying and long-lasting. 
relationships that are built on mutual respect, trust, and communication are more likely to be satisfying and enduring. When both partners respect each other, they show understanding and consideration for each other's feelings, thoughts, and opinions. Trust is also essential in any relationship because it enables partners to rely on each other and feel secure in their relationship. Good communication is also critical in relationships as it allows partners to express their needs and concerns openly and honestly. In a relationship based on mutual respect, trust, and communication, partners are more likely to feel comfortable with each other, and this makes it easier for them to deal with challenges that arise. They are also more likely to work together to find solutions to problems that may arise in their relationship. Over time, such relationships tend to grow and deepen, leading to greater intimacy and fulfillment. On the other hand, relationships that lack mutual respect, trust, and communication are more likely to be unsatisfying and short-lived. Without respect, partners may not value each other, leading to feelings of hurt and resentment. Lack of trust can lead to insecurity and suspicion, which can create distance between partners. Poor communication can make it difficult for partners to understand each other, leading to misunderstandings and conflict. Mutual respect, trust, and communication are vital ingredients for any healthy relationship. When these elements are present, partners can build a strong foundation that supports a satisfying and long-lasting relationship. If you like this video hit the subscribe button. Share it with your friends so we could make some more. Until next time.